Now, the rivalry between Cardiff City and Swansea City supporters on Sunday will be as fierce and as passionate as ever. But there's more to this most heated of derbies than football. Sport is often described as a battle or a conflict, sometimes even a war. Add in a healthy dose of local rivalry and the opposition is often termed as the enemy. But almost a century ago, young men who would now be considered rivals fought together, side by side, died together in a real war. Over half a million British soldiers died on the Western Front, one of whom was Lord Ninian Crichton Stewart. He was the man that gave the ground and was the guarantor for Cardiff City when it was formed. On the outbreak of the war, he was the first to volunteer. He was a former officer in the Scotch Guards. He was made Lieutenant Colonel of the 6th Battalion of the Welsh Regiment, also known as the Swansea Battalion. Cardiff and Swansea, two great industrial ports, one on the Taff, one on the Towie, one exporting coal, the other exporting copper, one founded by Vikings, the other city founded by the Romans. Nah, it's about more than football now. It's a civic rivalry, like Liverpool and Manchester, or Newcastle and Sunderland. But dig back, dig back into history, and you end up here, in Bertoun Cemetery, Northern France. On the night of October the 2nd, 1915, on these very fields just outside Lewes, the Swansea Battalion, led by Lord Ninian, were ordered to attack German-held trenches. Under withering fire, in appalling conditions, they achieved their objective. Unfortunately, the Germans, in huge numbers, counter-attacked. Fatally wounded, Lord Ninian. His body was carried back by two boys from the battalion, rather than being lost to the mud. So we still know where he's buried to this very day. Do you know why I had all these things I was going to say, but when you actually get here, the enormity, the tragedy of it all really hits you. I'm not saying that we should all start hugging each other after a game, you know. I still want Cardiff to win more than ever, but I think we should all learn from history that Cardiff and Swansea boys once fought and died together in this war. I think they'd be faintly bemused by the rivalry that now exists. And the least we can do the very least is what we promised them, and that's to remember them. <laughs>